Hello! In this video, I'll be showing the Jones oxidation test, which is a chemical test for primary alcohols, secondary alcohols, and aldehydes. We have three test tubes, the first one for the unknown, the second one for the positive control, and the last one for the negative control. In the first test tube, we will add a few milligrams of our solid unknown. We will use ethanol as a positive control since it is a primary alcohol and pipette a few milliliters of ethanol in the positive control test tube. Acetone will be used as a negative control since it is a ketone and gives a negative test. Since our unknown is a solid, we'll need to add a few milliliters of acetone to dissolve it. We will shake well and make sure that it is well dissolved. Finally, we will do the last step, which is adding the Jones reagent and observing the change of color within two seconds. As we can see, our unknown, the test tube containing our unknown, shares a very similar dark shade of green with the positive control test tube. This indicates a positive test and our unknown might be a primary alcohol, secondary alcohol, or aldehyde. Whereas, in the negative control, we see that the color of the Jones reagent remains, thus indicating a negative test. We can see here the reactions involved. In each case, we are adding chromium oxide, which is indeed our Jones reagent, and it has an orange to red color. Also notice that whenever we have a primary alcohol, secondary alcohol, or aldehyde, chromium sulfate is forming and chromium sulfate has an intense blue to green color as we observed in the video for a positive test. Thank you for watching.